it's Rachel and today I just wanted to film a quick little video just to talk to you guys about something that I have been experiencing. Generally if it's sort of a vlog type video I usually put it on my vlog channel which is Rachel Likes to Ramble which I'll link in the bottom bar below if you sort of want to see a few other videos from me. But I thought I would make a beauty vlog specifically for this channel because it's more, this is specifically about a beauty related and I just wanted you guys help. Now basically, um, if you've sort of seen some of my past videos, I know it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but generally I have fairly clear skin. Um, I've never had perfect skin all through my teenage years. I sort of got pimples sort of starting from puberty, which for me started quite early. I think I got pimples and things like that about when I was like 10 or 11 which trust me was not fun and I've been sort of I've sort of had them constantly throughout my teenage years and as I got a bit older sort of after high school they definitely did calm down a bit and then I would go through periods where I would have almost clear skin I always have still had the scarring which de generally didn't make my skin look great but I didn't have sort of any active breakouts and then all of a sudden, like about two weeks ago, maybe a bit over two weeks ago, my entire face has broken out. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see and I do have makeup on, but I'm going to zoom in just so you can see a little bit. So as you can see, I've got breakouts all over my face on both, both sides and on my forehead and here and even on my chin and on my neck. And it's really embarrassing to show you, but... At the same time, I sort of wanted to talk about this because I know it's not just me that experiences these type of things. Other people, whether you're younger and in your teens and sort of um, having sort of teenage breakouts or if you're older and have sort of adult acne, I am 21, almost 22, so I definitely feel like I should be past the teenage sort of acne phase. Like I said, I did go through puberty early and sort of finished early, so really I don't feel like I should be having breakouts, but I still am. Now, I sort of look after my skin. It's really important to me. I try and use, I always cleanse my face, always take my makeup off. I always look for products that are um, hypoallergenic and non, what's the word? non colored I can't say it, but it's basically the one that's not supposed to, um, that's supposed to be good for your skin and not cause breakouts. So I always try and look for those type of things in my products and I try like I, I drink at least two liters of water a day sometimes a little bit more um, I try and keep a fairly healthy diet I've actually been sort of on health kick for the last five or six weeks so I've been um, eating and drinking a lot healthier than usual I don't drink soft drink I do drink cordial and juice but I try and keep that to a minimum so like a glass a day at the maximum but for some reason, I have broken out again really, really bad and nothing I'm using seems to fix it. And it's, I don't know sort of what sort of to do. Um, I just started a new job and I am, I'm one of the youngest people there and it's really hard to be taken seriously when you've got a face that's covered in pimples and it, it really does affect your confidence. And I know that it definitely has, having bad skin early as a teenager and throughout my teenage years definitely affected my self-confidence so if you're out there and um, are feeling a bit down because you've got um, skin breakouts just know that I promise you you're not the only one who feels that way um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that and I know I haven't done any videos lately and it hasn't been because of my skin because I do feel like it's rock no, I, I can understand why you don't sort of want to make videos when you've got bad skin, but at the same time, so many people have it. I wouldn't want to not be on camera and say that, okay, well, if you've got bad skin, you shouldn't be on camera because that is not true. Um, everyone is beautiful and, and no matter what is going on with your skin or, or your hair or whatever whatever's going on with your face, um... I definitely think that, that that shouldn't stop you from doing what you want to do. But I do understand wanting to just hide in your room and not go anywhere because I have definitely experienced that. And I've felt that over the last couple of weeks, especially when I've run into people that I haven't seen for a while. I ran into one of my old teachers the other day at the train station 
and I ran into a friend from uni that I haven't had a class with for a while and I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been to um, some events lately which is part of the reason why I haven't done videos so going and having all these pictures taken at birthday parties and engagement parties and things like that it can definitely uh, I guess give a hit to your, your self confidence so I just want to say first off that I'm not not making videos because of my skin I've been not making videos because of other things but I, I'm definitely coming back and I'm probably going to use the fact that my skin is bad to make a video about how I do cover up um, acne or pimples the best that I can because this would be the best time uh, to do a video like that and sort of some tips and tricks that I've learnt for trying to prevent acne. I also sort of want to let you know because I am going to go to my doctor just to see if there's something that they can do and if I am put on medication then I sort of want to be able to share that experience with you guys because I know that there'll be other people out there either my age or older who sort of have adult acne or even teenagers who have really bad acne and and want to see what else is out there other than sort of topical treatments because if you're like me um, you've probably tried everything I've done proactive which I will say does work it works for a little while but then I found that my skin became immune to it um, that doesn't mean I don't think you should try it because like I said it did work for me for a little while um, I, I do know that there are a lot of, there are people out there. I've got friends with beauty therapists who say don't try try proactive, but I'm of the mind that try everything once just to see because um, when you do have bad skin and you're looking for a cure for you, um, you want to sort of give everything a shot. But I I have tried um, I have tried proactive. I've tried all the general sort of drugstore brands like Clean and Clear and Neutrogena and Clearacell and things like that. I've tried um, sort of beautician brands like Ultraceuticals and Dermalogica so um and then I've tried like um adult acne brands and ones with sort of diff varying levels of benzoyl peroxide which is something that uh, is supposed to help with acne and that's part one of the ingredients in proactive um so yeah I've tried all the topical treatments I also was put on um birth control or the pill which is supposed to help with acne and it did help a little bit. I used to have sort of acne on my back and that definitely cleared it up. So if, if you're sort of struggling, um, definitely talk to your parents and talk to your doctor about that as a potential option because sometimes that can help, especially if, if your breakouts are hormonal. Um, so I, I did go on birth control for that reason and it did help me slightly, but as you can see, I'm still... Uh, getting breakouts so I just sort of wanted to uh, create this video and ask you out there if, if, if you've had a similar experience where your skin's sort of been clear and then all of a sudden you've broken out everywhere I can understand like sometimes people, you might break out in a patch you just all of a sudden get some on your chin or you might get some on your cheek but at the moment I have them all over my face and if I was to take off all my makeup my face would be pretty much all red which is um it's definitely not good and I don't like it because if I rub my face I don't really want to touch it at the moment but my entire cheeks are all really lumpy which um, is not good because I can kind of almost feel like there's more under the skin that's about to break through so it's um, a little bit of a it's just I don't know so if you've had any experiences like this please either um, send me a link to a video if you've made a video about it or um, let me know if you've got anything that you think I should try in the comments below. Like I said, I am going to go see my doctor because I do think that it's not something that you should have to deal with. If, if you uh, have bad skin, there are definitely solutions out there. And talk to your parents and talk to your doctor. Ask to go see a dermatologist if that's possible. Um, even if you, have, if you don't have access to someone, maybe a school nurse, even speak to them and see if they can help you. Other adults around you, your friends, just definitely don't feel like you can't talk about it because so many people experience it even if they don't have breakouts now they probably did when they were when they were younger at some point in their life so I definitely don't think it should be a taboo topic especially on uh, beauty channels and in the beauty community where it's such a um, I guess a dominant topic or a big part of uh, what we make videos about which is your skin it, it is the base of um, all your makeup goes on top of it so I definitely think it's it's an important thing to look after and I like I said I invest a lot I, in, in terms of money and in, in makeup specifically I um, 
invest money on the products that go directly on my skin that's why I'll, I'll spend money on expensive foundations to make sure that they're ones that aren't contributing to acne so because of that I don't feel like it's necessarily a product that I'm using I think it might be something um, within my body which is why I sort of want to talk to my doctor about medication but yeah so I just like I said wanted to make this video to just talk to you guys about it and um, I know that a lot of like other people who will see this video or this, my subscribers make videos themselves and um, if you see this and you do think you know or have an idea about something I could try please leave me a comment in the bottom bar below I would greatly appreciate it and other than that I will talk to you soon in my new videos bye